From the St. Anne's mine, Zimbabwe, this is older material. We have verdolite tourmaline, which is the green tourmaline. Let me just zoom in over there and see if we can get some color. Uh, it doesn't want to zoom. Oh, there we go. It's a dark, dark green, gem see-through green. Uh, sitting on a quartz. Now, this this quartz does have some form. Now, if you look at this section, look over there. Very strange formation for quartz, uh, a crystalline nonetheless. Termination, there is a, there was a termination over here. There is a slight bit of damage on this termination from what I can see. There's a typical quartz termination there. Let's run it around like this. Um, actually, it's, you know what it is, it's just a strange termination. Um, you have a, a, a little um, a tourmaline crystal sitting on top on that termination. Okay, going around like this, do we have any, yeah, there is, there is some form of termination. Okay, then we go around like this. And then let's figure out the other side. So there's a crystalline face over there. Let's go around like this. A little bit of iron uh, uh, oxide staining, uh, hematite, kimgurthite staining on that. There's a, a crystal face of sorts over here. We go around like this. This could have been a floater, which, which got a bit nicked. Nice, uh, uh, large uh, uh, tourmalines on this guy. All from the St. Anne's Mine, Zimbabwe. Very well known for the lovely blue uh, topaz crystals which came out there. Sky blue topaz. Which, which I can't see momentarily on this one. Perhaps that little crystal over there could be a topaz. Let's just... I'd have to... Please look at my description. Um, for more info, I'd have to look under magnification.